Hi, my name is Shongda, and today you're watching a video about the native ISO of the T2i or the 550D from Canon. So today I found a test with uh, showing the noise of uh, different ISO with the Magic Lantern. Because with the Magic Lantern you can actually choose more ISO than the standard setting of uh, Canon. Because in Canon, uh, the standard menu, you can choose 100 ISO, 200. 400, 800, 1600, uh, 3200 and 60, uh, 6400 uh, for filming. You can also get higher for photography. However, inside the Magic Lantern you actually get way more uh, ISO to choose from. So you can actually choose less uh, bigger jumps, which is for filming a little bit easier. The Test is done by Tim uh, Da Costa, and it's in the links below if you want to see it. However, I'll say which uh, native ISO is the best or which ISO gives the less uh, noise. And even actually the ISO 100, which should be no noise, actually got noise, which is a bit of a surprise. However, uh, it's quite a a surprise uh, that only a few ISOs uh, from the Canon actually uh, is uh, the native ISO. So you have the uh, 160, the 320, the 640, and then you have the uh, 1250, or actually also the 800, uh, the 1250, the 1600, and the 2500 which gives the best result without having too much uh, noise I'm now actually filming myself with uh, f2.8 with actually using the UFO LED light and then with the uh, ISO on 2500 so you can actually see if there's like a lot of noise or not and for me it's actually looks uh, in the test actually showed that 2500 is actually uh, the same amount of noise compared to uh, 1600 so it gives you more light uh, and you don't and yeah 3200 really I always avoid it avoid using it because it's just too much noise compared to using 1600 uh, the actual zero noise regions is or the ISOs where you don't have any noise at all is uh, 160, 320, uh, 640 and 800 ISO which are the cleanest ISOs so you can actually use those without getting any noise uh, in your footage when you're filming. However it might also be with photography but you do have to use magic lantern to access those kind of iso levels it's actually quite weird that uh, canon did not uh, set the camera to use those kind of isos which uh, reduce all kinds of noise and should be way better than uh, what they are they are using as a standard within the menu so yeah, that was it actually and hope it's uh, useful information and see you the next time. Bye.